Good. Testing, testing. All right. Woo, we got a rasp yeah. brow. Just to right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got a pencil. And we're good. Table. Move. Table. Move. 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 Table. Move. Hey, baby. Table. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, baby. What are you guys doing? Warm up. Warm up. I have never heard any of those. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome to Threshold. Again, uh, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Um, and a quick reminder that uh, this beautiful extra wall and uh, <laughs> wall, <laughs> a beautiful extra wall and our uh, new look and sound is thanks to your guys' contributions through our Patreon. So please go ahead and check that out. Welcome to Threshold, the uh, return of Rasper Hawkborn, episode two. My name's Steven. I'll be your dungeon master. Let's go around and meet the players. Hey, everybody. I am Kevin, and I am playing Val Transmodavon Tartaric Valerius, the 13th. Um, elf wizard, level 8. Uh, currently a tiger eating a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hola. Uh, my name is Brian. Today I will be playing Jamie something, a level 8 half-elf warlock of meta. Ooh, you happy. Yeah. You dim. So, oh, man, there's all these yeah. new, yeah. all these new Happy. racial Happy slurs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but also, my mustache will be playing a level four <laughs> fighter barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Patrick, and I'll be playing Ka Kuruka, a level seven rogue Thafesian, or Birdman from the east. Um, <laughs> I'm Josh, I'll be playing Rasper Hawkborn. Love it. Uh, fighter <laughs> level six, barbarian level one, ultimate badass, shovel instead of a sword. You know him. He's back. <laughs> you know him. You love him. <laughs> it's Rasper Hawkmore. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, my name is Pamela. I am playing Christine Demarin, a level seven fighter, level two paladin. Great. Uh, quick note, Thothesian is a race which is going to be available to our Patreon subscribers in the race guide. So if you want to check out some of the finer points of that, be sure to check that out. Um, so uh, last time, um, Jamie arrived back in Marenton, um, <laughs> fresh out of the uh, homecoming campaign. She is uh, on the lamb, as you say. Yes, um, on the run from a... Uh, a, a uh, Renard, a, a bounty hunter, a retired no. by the no. <laughs> <laughs> a honorable knight <laughs> trying to reclaim his stolen magic item. Um, <laughs> bounty hunter. And um, then Bell, um, huh? because Christine has decided it's now time to rescue Rasper, brought yeah. everyone into another dimension. And I did a really good job. Yes. You really I did, nailed it. I, did, I totally <laughs> read that scroll correctly. <laughs> you arrived in the ruins of the old night tower where you were accosted by a alternate version of your friend Virgie who um, is a badass with a shovel. And um, you killed... So <laughs> I'm sorry, with an axe. With an axe. I was Shovel's on the brain. I was, yeah, I got, I got shoved. What if everyone just had a show? I guess that's Rasper on the 25th century, right? <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Rasper, <laughs> the timeline populated entirely by Rasper. Anyway, so you fought Virgie off. She ran away. Uh, with some of the other sons of the shipwreck, the ones that were not either maimed by um, Ka, um, black, tentacles. black tentacles, or Tiger. Um, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave it to you guys. Probably more tigers and tentacles. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably have to do a tiger. <laughs> now, here's the question. 
Am I cognizant enough to know to cancel the spell on myself? <laughs> well, your hand went down to three. I mean, I yes, but I still, I'm, <laughs> I'm still concentrating on the polymorph spell. There's a sort of a philosophical question that a lot of people ask about polymorph that mm. reduces your int. I would uh, say yes. I would right, say yeah. Well, it's diminishing your int, but not your wisdom. Uh, it actually, all of my mental stats set to the. Right, well, I would say if you, if you have to maintain concentration. But, but yeah, I still I have think to. It's more fun if you can. Like, <laughs> if I take damage, I still have to keep concentration to keep the form. Here is so. my thought, and you can either reject this or not. Okay. I'm giving you the option. If you are a tiger, I imagine, and you are thinking like a tiger, you are probably going to want to continue to act like a tiger, and the yeah. natural state of being is to want to stay as a tiger. That's fair. I think that's kind of what I was leaning towards anyway. I think I just want to, uh, at least I want to keep eating right now, you know? Could you iron oh, T-Rex? We're like watching Bell, so like, lunch on. I didn't think this through very well. <laughs> are you wearing your red coat as a tiger? I, it, no. Bell. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, okay. you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, Every, you are. Everything else on me <laughs> melded into tiger form, but now I'm a tiger wearing a big red coat. Yes, <laughs> because that is decided. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to turn into like a bunny and be a bunny wearing this red coat. <laughs> uh, uh, Vel, would you say in your tiger form you growled at some point? I've I've roared a few times. I have tigers. Um, and yeah, there's there's all kinds of snarly tigery noises going on right now. So, um, you guys watch for a minute. Um, do any of you approach Tiger Vel as I'm he's eating gone. this guy? No, uh -huh. Kaz's terrified, actually, of a big cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, hmm, Kaz could have, yeah, he might even go back to his old hiding place over by the tower. <laughs> uh, so Jamie's going to turn to Christine and go, it seems that uh, that Vel has picked up a couple new tricks. That's Vel? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't see him anywhere around. I mean, and where does... Tiger, tiger just from. beat him up and stole his coat. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing, he's wearing, wearing Vel's coat. Um, has he done this before? No. How, oh, okay. Um, I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> a minute has probably passed and the spell wears off. Polymorph lasts an hour. Oh, oh God. Oh, you're a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, looked, I said a minute and then I looked at the polymorph card. And you're it's a, a tiger. Up well, to an hour. <laughs> well, Concentration. He's almost done with that corpse we can try and like charm it maybe like um I'm gonna, does I'm gonna, anyone have rope i'm gonna finish my uh i'm gonna finish my meal i'm gonna kind of straighten up and look around yawn <laughs> kind of do a uh Cat yeah, do a big t yeah then do, do like a circle and lie down and look at you guys <laughs> i mean i could Grab some rope and hog time like a big clarion, but I Rasper like, gets oh, his shovel <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. and walks back to Rasper, the Rasper, Rasper, Rasper. Nice to see you, friend. That is not <laughs> that is not necessary. Wait. Okay. Um, no, he's just walking back Tiger, after after getting his shovel. Tiger Vell is going to uh to stand back up and kind of just pad softly over to Rasper. And like stand up on his hind legs and like double double uh, hind legs tiger stance and then just kind of like lick your face a little bit and like oh, man does Rasper let this happen <laughs> I don't know does he um I think he he does All awkwardly right. <laughs> yeah. upon upon <laughs> seeing <laughs> yeah yeah um just kind of a cat head rub he kind <laughs> of uh pushes Val off of him and uh and looks to the group he isn't Mind you, he hasn't seen any of you in a year. Yeah. Right, and we haven't, yeah. I don't think we've fully gotten a good look at him. Um, no. You can tell that Rasper has aged um, quite a bit. Mm. Um, easily 10 years, maybe looking more like 15 years. Ooh, wow. He's looking close to 70. Um, there's a lot of gray and white in his hair, which is now, uh, it's been growing back for a year, but it's still shorter than when you last saw him. Um, mm. And, uh, he, uh, he's looking thinner. He's still tall, but uh, not emaciated, but definitely thinner. Mm -hmm. um, and he's wearing like kind of work rags. Um, he kind of steps back a bit from Val and looks to the bunch of you. Um, and, uh, oh, man. I think, I think 
think you actually see you actually see a bit of his face soften. Um, he's no longer enraged. <laughs> um, oh, oh, good. But um, uh, I think. Yeah, I think you see a tear roll down his face. So you're you're exhausted, correct? Yeah. Great. And um, he says, um, "You're back." Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, my friends, we n we never left. You're the one who left. We're coming to get you. Is that the case? I I didn't know. What happened? Uh, I thought everything had changed. No, everything has been the same. I mean, uh, I, 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 it's tough because it involves a tiger. Uh, <laughs> is, is, that, the tiger. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what about him? And he points to Ka. Oh. Ka kind of like he was standing over by the, the tower and stuff over there, and he kind of approaches still eyeing the tiger, but now he knows that it's Val, yeah. so he's mm -hmm. mouth kind of you know, drops open, and like <laughs> <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a weird kitty, <laughs> kitty grin, drool. <laughs> um, yeah, Kyle doesn't say anything, he just sort of approaches quietly and looks to Christine, hoping so she'll Ka vouch for him. Yeah, Ka is, um, well, a friend, first off. Um, he came to Marenton a while ago and he's um, been kind of outside eyes and ears. Hmm. He's very good at that. Well then, if the world didn't change, then how, how are you all here? Um, <laughs> Point to Bell Tiger. <laughs> Bell Tiger has once again circled and is uh, kind of lying down for what appears to be a cat nap. So which <laughs> I think he's gonna go to sleep. And I think when he loses <laughs> I think when he loses consciousness, he's not concentrating on the spell anymore. That is hundred percent fair. <laughs> yeah. I buy all of that. Okay. <laughs> Great. A hundred percent actually. Great. It's also the first time Bell has ever gone to sleep. <gasps> Oh, that's weird. <laughs> well, so it's like for a well, technically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A tiger. You, exactly. You a tiger form. Exactly. But it's just like a weird. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like you fall asleep, and when you would unhit consciousness. Yeah. Like, There's like a brief yeah. second. Of, yeah. yeah. So anyway, kind of the tiger's head goes down, and then like it quickly shifts back into just like Vel lying on the ground, going, "Oh, that was weird." <laughs> You're telling us. Don't. Maybe. Uh, he's like disoriented a little bit. He's like, okay, I didn't. Mm. I, he kind of looks over at the uh, at the body of the thing. He reaches up and like wipes a little blood off of his mouth. Just, I'll be right back. <laughs> and goes over behind a uh, barrel and loses a bit of that lunch he just had. Mm. Oh, uh, like vomiting up chunks so, of it. So <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> so we found this bean. Well, we, not me, I wasn't there. But Vel found, found these scrolls of train our flat travel that we were able to rig into find, coming here and finding you. Uh huh. All right, I'm back. Uh, Rasper! <laughs> Rasper? Vel. Rasper! <laughs> Vel like comes up and like, kind of like, still covered in cautious, blood. Yeah, he's like covered in blood. Great, great, great. He's still uh, like Rasper, cautiously Rasper coming in for a hug. Stops him before he hugs him and then takes his thumb and wipes your mouth. <laughs> the blood off of it. The blood and vomit. And wipes it on his shirt. And he right. says, Well, right. <laughs> then, what now? Can we leave? Yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Bell starts uh, prestidigitating the blood <laughs> off of himself as he cleans it. <laughs> Rasper, uh, how long have you been here? I, it, it must have been about a year now. It doesn't look like a year. Oh, this. And yeah, you look terrible. <laughs> well, uh, 
something happened when I was first here. Um, there was a fight with some magic. I, I don't know what happened, but um, it aged me. Oh, that's right, Rasper. Uh, what what can you uh, what can you tell me about here? Is, is, has there been anything strange? Do, do you remember anything about getting here? What can you tell me about the world here? Is it is it different from our own? Obviously, Virgie's like super weird, but uh, is, is it like that everywhere? What's what's going on? You could say that. Um, <laughs> ah, well, so much. Um, it's a it's a dark <laughs> and dreary place. <laughs> Uh, there seem to be, uh, I, I've, I've met all sorts of versions of you that weren't like you at all. They were, oh, well, they were dicks. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, there. There was a, I, there was another version of me? There's another Jamie? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, there was another Jamie. But he doesn't talk much, and there was another Val, but he's dead. Dead? What? Uh, did Did you see, see him die? Val's like a little unnerved by that. Um. um. Yeah, I saw him die. That's hmm. partly why I look like this. But um. Uh, yes, there's a. Uh, this place is riddled with all sorts of problems. I I couldn't do much as one person. But um, uh, the, the Black Arrows, uh, they reign this land again. And another Rasper Hawkborn leads them. OK, well, um, well we've, we've got you now. Uh, I guess Mel starts like pulling out the other scroll of teleportation, of uh, plane ship. And he's like, uh, I guess. I actually. Uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, there may be someone that I do owe a gratitude to. Uh, there's a Christine from this place that tried to rescue me or tried to save me. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know why she did it, but uh, um, she's she's locked up somewhere with the Black Arrows. I think she was the only to live, but I, I think I owe it to her to to rescue her. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, this is. Uh, Rasper, this is. Uh, so. We can't really. It's difficult for us to, to want to concern ourselves with what happens if we, if we start worrying about what happens in alternate timelines. We're. we're we have enough problems at home, but if uh, if you, uh, I guess if it's a personal thing that you want to do to help somebody here, uh, uh, okay. Uh, what, what do you think, Christine? Um. As you sit thinking, the um, the ruins of the of Marinton sort of are they whistle as the cold sea wind uh, moves through this place. It's kind of as you remember it from when you first arrived with Davon. Um, mm. And there's just the sound of emptiness on streets that you've grown accustomed to um, having life in them. This is really unnerving. Mm. It's just close enough to how things were. Uh, what time is it right now? It's uh, starting to get dark. Okay. And uh, you guys look up in the sky as it does, and for the first time you notice uh, what is left of the moon. Um, the moon has exploded. Um, Which one? The, the only the one moon. we can see from the sun. Yeah, the other one's on the inside. You can't see it. Okay. Uh, the blue moon is exploded uh, and you can see like chunks of it and dust just sort of like floating up above oh rasper do you know anything about that um he looks up 
And he says, um, no, it's been like that since I came here. Uh, Kaz staring up in the sky, like, in sadness and amazement at the same time. Um, and in Tom Burt's voice, he just says, gates of hell. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong, Kaz. You're not wrong. I wonder. Val, do we uh, have to leave now? Uh, we don't, no, we don't have to. Val's kind of still in shock as looking at this exploded moon. Uh, okay, well, then come. Uh, I'll show you where I live. We can spend the night there. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and he guides the party to his hobble. Christine, you were thinking on a decision before oh. I described the setting. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, it just, I assume you're maybe still thinking. Um, um, unless you've made a decision. I mean, I am looking at a decision. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so maybe Christine is still, if she, I just was going to give you the opportunity to voice that. I, yeah, I think that maybe she's still thinking about it. Hmm. Go ahead, Rasper. Um, all right. Where do you live? Come. And uh, they they trek out. Um, can you can you describe this Marantin in a little more detail? Sure. Um, like I said, it looks it looks pretty much identical to how it looked when you guys first arrived at Davon. Um, there's very few people still living there. Um, most of them are either people too poor to move anywhere else, or um, so members of the Sons of the Shipwreck. Um, the Fane Coast is pretty much deserted. Um, you know from your travels that Haddock is totally destroyed by ogres. Um, and um, you uh, know that the, the rest of the coast has kind of been shambles without, without anyone really there over the last little while. Um, it's lots of ruins. It's lots of like looted houses that um, maybe 20 years ago had people living in them. But now it's it's pretty much worn, and the ocean, the ocean and the sea air have pretty much destroyed everything else that, that the sons of the shipwreck haven't. Okay, um, he uh, he's going to lead them uh, a little ways towards the edge of town, um, into uh, one of the abandoned buildings, like a small abandoned house, um, and uh, uh, through the way he uh, he undoes like one or two traps, simple traps. <laughs> like um, just uh, like chip lines and box with a stick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, like like maybe broken glass, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, just to make noise. Uh, and he leads you back into what looks like um, kind of like a large back room that is otherwise abandoned, but he pulls off a couple boards to reveal some dried uh, bread, like stale bread and some stuff. Uh, he says, uh, well, this is it. Um, make yourselves comfortable. Okay. Uh, we, I assume we brought the rations and yeah. stuff that we've packed. Mm -hmm. so, uh. Christine okay. sets about um, starting a small fire and um, starting to like make like a little stew for everyone. Vel seems very deep in thought after seeing the moon. He kind of after we kind of settle in, he said, turns and Rasper, what? Did you get to talk to the other me? A bit. What well, What was he like? Um. He was kind of a dick, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I could imagine you, uh, someone I'd want to kill. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Um, that's not how it went down, of course. Oh, good. Uh, but yes. that was a long time ago. I don't really remember much. Uh, we were only together for a few days. Oh, okay. Um, and Bella looks back thoughtfully up at the sky and says, I wonder what happened with that. He thinks back to the marble slab. And <laughs> and all of that stuff. Yeah, Kaz sees him looking at the sky and approaches Val mm -hmm. in uh, belly drum. Mm -hmm. what? Belly drum speak. Belly drum, <laughs> belly drum speak. Uh, says, Ooh. And just points and yeah. looks at him expectedly. And Val goes, 
Not anymore here, apparently. I. Maybe this is what happens if things don't go as well for me as they have in our world. And it is a blue den? I don't know. I mean, based on my limited understanding, she probably was here too. Although without the moon, I, I don't know. As Christine like finishes making everything, she actually has some loaves of bread and she like takes out a dagger and like just cuts them out and makes little bread bowls for everybody. <gasps> bread um, <laughs> and just passes them out and Great. takes hers and <laughs> sits down next to Rasper. Val makes like pleasantly surprised with it. What? Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so Rasper. Yeah, he, Rasper eats his bread bowl. You can see there's probably a bit of arthritis with his. Oh, oh gosh. Are there, like, levels that you have to, like... <laughs> well, I, I was going to say, it sounds like we maybe need to adjust Rasper's stats a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll yeah. talk after this. That's if, fine. He, if he's that old, if he has arthritis um, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think it's, it's painful, but, you know, he works through it. <laughs> yeah. Because he, ha he has to. Yeah. Um, but uh, you can see, like, this, uh, whatever happened to him took a toll. Hmm. Um, Kai takes his red ball and just sort of like dumps the soup into <laughs> his beak as if he was like feeding from like a mama bird or something. <laughs> um, and then he, he sits down sort of like defeated and th tosses the bread ball in the corner and says, uh, we don't want any bread. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line that just keeps on giving. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Um, all right, well. Rasper, where's this alternate Christine? Like, let's let's get this business done with so that we can get you home, Easter Buckaroo. Egg. Okay. Um, as best as I know it, she's in Easterton. In would it be the? Uh, Probably in the dungeons. Okay. Easterton. In the dungeons, I I know exactly where it is, but uh, I haven't had anyone that could possibly help me and just be walking into the dungeons myself as he's eating the Raspberry you, you mentioned watching the other me die was part of what why you're old. I, uh, what that's what happened? That's not did did I leave a ghost? Because that's shouldn't have manifested that quickly and most elven ghosts don't have that effect on humans um, what happened uh, to be honest I don't I didn't see much I was I was in a tumble with the other rasper but oh. um, uh, some sort of ghosts I don't know oh. okay uh, I think he died. I haven't seen him since. But I'm, oh. it's, it was magic. So, so you don't you don't know for sure that he's dead then. I. It's magic, Val. <laughs> <laughs> right. I well, forgot Rasper. I'm sorry. Well then. What about this other Jamie? Can he help us too? Uh, well, maybe you'd be able to talk to him. He's he's mostly just a block of ice. The other Vel translated for him, but uh, without Vel, I haven't been able to talk to Jamie or whatever Jamie is. Where is he? Where was he again? He's in Zerathane. Ah, room five. Room five. He's in Zerathane <laughs> at the Weeping Trout. <laughs> there he stayed. Mm -hmm. um. <gasps> <laughs> Pretty chill time. <laughs> uh, before uh. he speaks up, um, the the reason why we we tried to stop the other rasper 
Well, I was told by this other Jamie that it would be my chance to get back, but, well, maybe he said something more along the lines of, uh, it would save this world. Uh, it was a long time ago. Um, Honestly, well, I never expected any of you to come back. I didn't mm, know what happened. Sorry, I wasn't faster. Mm. You're as fast as you could have been. It took, oh yeah, uh, he, I mean, no, it took he, us a long time to even figure out that you were still alive. He puts a hand on Vel's shoulder. Does Vel does Vel wince when he has physical no. contact? No. Okay, he's not like weird like that. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> when was that ever yeah. established? I don't know. I don't know. Elves, <laughs> are elves, are elves, are elves, elves are weird. Elves are weird. Elves are weird. Elves are weird. You know, physical elves contact. Elves with, are weird. Uh, you touch me. And he says, um, "You're here now." Yeah. Uh Right. <laughs> and he goes back to eating. Apparently I already was, but now I'm here again. Or this me is, the other me is, I don't know. I need, I need, could a, be. I need a moment. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kyle hands his dagger out, and he's, you can see that he's starting to uh, not, like carve a small notch in his beak. And you can see on the side that there's <laughs> actually a few of these notches. Uh, uh, um, Christine, do we, or Rask, or rather, either, or both, do we have time to go up to Xerathane? Time? Xerathane, how out of the way is Xerathane? It was, it's, it's north. Days. It's right. like two days journey north. I don't see why we wouldn't, but I guess that's up to Vel. I have no idea how I, you all got here. I'm not going to lie, I'm very curious about this. Um, that said, I, I'm going to defer to Christine. Um, I also could use a little bit to make sure that I don't botch the, uh, the transport quite as much next time. I don't know if my legs can handle another fall like that. <laughs> mm. We have time. If you need time to prepare the spell, then we can have it. I mean, you know, I, I can try right now. No. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No. No. Oh, okay. No. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. <laughs> Rask will... She wasn't that different from you, you know. <clears throat> she just grew up in a different place, whatever this place is. It made everyone a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah, let's um let's go get her. Let's go get her. Right, we can at least help you pay that debt. Let's not this isn't really our world to save, but at least we can help somebody that you owe, I guess. Let's uh plus, you know, I'll work on this. <laughs> Uh, Great. Yeah. Right then. Well, we should get some sleep. The night passes uneventfully. Right. So let's uh, let's have a little tiny bit of table talk. What is so the plan? It sounds like is to go up north to Zerathane. Yes. And then to head on to Easterton. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, is there a um, is there any kind of a formulation? Maybe if you guys want to talk on the. Let's do zero thing first, and then we first, and then we can maybe talk about what the plan of attack is for getting into Easter, okay. getting into the roost and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Um, you head up to um, you head up through the Fang Coast to uh, mm -hmm. Zero Thane, and um, <coughs> it's a little bit it's a little bit different. Um, there's it's mostly humans that you pass, um, but everyone has this look <laughs> to them like they have had the life drained out of them. Hmm. Um, and as Rasper knows, they literally have. Uh, because they figured out a way, and Rasper explains this, they figured out a way to uh, harvest people for bliss without taking, without hmm. killing them. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's awful. Did he explain that? Did yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that and they're, and they're, they're shipping, they're still shipping bliss uh, as Rasper witnessed to another plane, to hell. Oh, 
Okay, so that's that hasn't changed. They're Correct. Oh, they're being supplied from multiple planes. This place is terrible. We should at least <laughs> shut down their bliss operations or something. I don't know. R Rasper also <laughs> says that bliss use in this world is like he he even saw Christine and Vel. Ah, yeah, it's it's much more casual. Well, yeah, I'm a different person here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind everybody, we all heal. Yes. Yeah. Spells and abilities oh, yeah. come back. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, lovely. Great. Do we, do we meet any kooky characters? <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, it's zero thing. <laughs> kooky. kooky. <laughs> Not, and no, honestly, like you don't meet any kooky characters because everyone is kind of just like tending to their farm work, almost like zombies. I think like they're like shells of former men. Yeah, yeah. there's no it's joy in this world. It's really unsettled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, to this zero is, thing then. This is awful. All yeah. right, yes, we go to zero thing. The overall tone sort of reminds you, uh, Ka and Christine, um, of when you uh, when you went to Coast Piss. Ah. Oh. oh. Yeah. In a nice six voice, uh, Ka mm -hmm. looks to Christine and it's just, it's quiet. Yeah. And then he starts flipping one of his coins and maybe Ding. makes the didgeridoo sound that <laughs> from Kaku <laughs> Kaku. <laughs> 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 um, you arrive in Xerathane. It uh, looks kind of like you remember it. You can see the sign for the, the weeping trout. Um, that uh, Except it's a, the city's a little bit closer to the coast than you remember. You can actually see the ocean. Um, mm. From, from where you, mm. where you are, and there's of course the um, the aqueduct that feeds right. water to the town. You can see that it's actually um, is actually flowing 100 percent here mm. to the mm. town. Okay, Christine like takes mental note of that because in her mind it's like okay if they have all the water because you know she's been having to balance everything yeah sure. uh it's like okay if they have all the water then if there is a bully loose settlement they either have nothing or they are dispersed or they're gone or they're all dead right so it's like okay that's either something to watch out for or it's mm -hmm. do you say do you say this no this is all in her head okay how, how much does rasper know about xerathane um he, and he's lived in this area for a year now. Yeah, so um, you actually maybe have asked around what happened with the Bully Lug Settlement. There is no Bully Lug Settlement. There never was. Great. The mm -hmm. mayor was stealing the water for the town himself to pay higher taxes on it. And he was actually tried and hung oh. in <gasps> Easterton after he was captured by oh my gosh, that's Christine right. Bell. Oh my um, gosh, that's and right. Great. And a man named Damien Morningside. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, as as Is they walk into the town, he mentions, he mm -hmm. said, uh, funny story, remember remember those bullywugs? And then he goes into the story and hmm. tells all of you how about how they are. No, he's all not. Right. Um, let's... Uh, we make our way to the inn. I don't know what we're hoping to get out of this, but it'll be fun to meet alternate Jamie, right? Um, is the inn active? Yes, it is. The weeping, the weeping trout is active. Uh, trout is inactive. Like the no, the inn inactive? is active. The inn is active. <laughs> is it inactive? Um, no. the, the, the weeping <laughs> trout. Um, it the the fish is you know very sad on the sign because he's being hooked by the fishermen. And normally, where it's kind of a playful thing, looking at it this time in this world kind of has like some weird kind of like there's wow. a just a weird dark shadow cast sure. on it because of everything mm -hmm. else around. Mm -hmm. Um, you enter inside. Um, there's a couple of a couple of people at the table um, at a couple of tables. Just sort of there's actually there's a man at the bar drinking next to the bartender Teresa. Not Noah. <laughs> 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 it's Teresa in this world, um, and she is um, she. You you recognize her, but um, she has a different name. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a man at the bar drinking, and then maybe one more guy, like in the corner, passed out drunk. Hmm. Um, let me guess. Room five. The uh, woman says, "Hey, um, how can I help you guys?" Uh, we're looking for one of your um, tenants. 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 Oh yeah. Yes, we're kind of eyes you guys, and she's like, "Have I met you before?" 
Uh, are you getting that weird deja vu thing too going on? <laughs> I'm getting that right Give now. Give me charisma check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone? You know what? <laughs> Rasper, Rasper doesn't stop at her. He's already walking up the stairs. Or he's trying to. He's going to try to walk back past goes, her. Yeah, I, I recognized you guys from. You're the ones who took out the mayor. Well, at least most of you. One of you should still be up there. She looks a little bit confused, and the man at the man at the bar is like, he he just says, "Ah, leave him alone. Leave him alone, Teresa. It doesn't really matter." Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> Follow yeah. Rasper upstairs. Yeah, are you guys coming? Is he? Um, I'm gonna pull out um, a gold ox. Uh, gold. Yeah, gold cow. Gold. Um, a gold ox, and just. Place it on the counter. Her her eyes widen. She goes, We're "Whatever you here. want." <laughs> the uh, guy at the counter like looks at you and you just and says, "Do I know you from somewhere?" Rat says you don't. Is there one for him too? <laughs> <laughs> Is there one? He, he'll say that. Is there one for me too? And she tosses him a gold coin. Thanks. He, uh, he pockets it. Rasper walks up to the door, turns to the bunch. Um, I haven't been here in a while, but uh, the last few times I came back, it was all the same. He just sits there. So and the first thing you know is going up the hall, that room five, you can see that there's like water under the door and that the door is like frozen. There's like It's like a, it's a fridge. There's ice coming out of it. Oh, man. Uh, he, he turns the doorknob and he, he gives it a couple good shoves. And does it open? Yeah. Okay. Give and me a strength check. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> um. Oh, I have. Would that be a saving throw or just a check? Nope, just check. check. Um, fourteen. Great. You uh, you shoulder it and it opens up. Great. He's a little stuck, but. Um, great, and it pushes open with a crunch. And um, the room, room five. It looks kind of like you guys remember it. But um, it's completely frozen over, and there's actually stacks of like beer and meat being stored in here, <laughs> doubling as a fridge. Um, Brilliant. Convenient. <laughs> uh, in the furniture has been removed from the room uh, a long time ago, so it's pretty much empty except for what looks to be just the frozen, um, the a frozen solid Jamie something, sitting in a meditative position. Is he, um, like, is he like some of the form? Is he in a cube or something? Or no, it, he he, <laughs> he just like has a cube. like probably a couple inches, like an inch or so of ice just surrounding his whole body. So it almost looks like a Jamie sculpture, but there's Jamie on it's uh, there's a Jamie on the inside, and uh, in Jay, front, creamy Jamie center. Yeah, yeah in front is cool. the uh, is a little spinning, a little spinning astrolab, mm. um, and as you guys enter, it starts like going wild. One of the things you do notice on the Astrolab at first glance is that the Mobius strip is actually broken oh. on the uh, it, like it's made that way, oh, okay. as if the st as if the strip is broken, like uh -huh. the thing that they're representing. So hmm. suggesting uh, the planet has been torn. Yeah. When they when when these guys originally warped in to the uh -huh. that plane, would oh. they have seen that? They would have seen that. Oh, yeah. okay. So we actually saw the like. It was going pretty fast though. But yeah, you right. would have seen that it, the planet is torn. Oh wow. Mm. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, Where is, this, is this unsettling is to you, Jamie? What? Where is it torn? Um, it seems like it would be. Uh, I drew a picture. Like geographic, like you you mean like whether or not Thothesia has been yes torn? Would, would cause um, Thothesia like being. Ripped in half from all the way in? Yes, actually. That would be the section that was ripped in half. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Not, um, not a good thing. Um, yeah, yeah, almost as if like something shot out of the center. Right. Jamie's going to... big gnome gun. <laughs> <laughs> like a big gnome gun. Just like one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jamie's going to walk up very slow. He's, he's just absorbing everything. He's... This is the feeling in the room is fairly, like, strangely familiar. 
Like, have you been there? I've been there. The uh, Astrolab just like starts spinning all of the different little planets on there. Is, 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 is you, can you grab it? Or uh, I'm gonna uh, it's frozen to the floor. Oh, but you can like stop it. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Kyle's going to stop it and look at where the break is and in Holly uh, Jones and be like, Ignopia. Is he on sitting on like a bed or something or like a set like a seat of some kind? No, he's just on the floor. On the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, Jamie's going to go up and and sit, marrying him, (laughs) and just like, you know, exact the same the exact same pose that the other one is. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just saying. Poster. (laughs) Yeah. Um. Then he's going to use his awakened mind to try and talk to him. Great. All right. Uh, anything else anyone wants to do before we jump into that? Nope. nope. No, just a, uh, yeah, I just, I'm just going to look at the Astrolab with, uh, with Ka and, and kind of like, is that, is that where you're Ignopia home? Oh, <laughs> we're going to kind of have that And then he makes just like a <laughs> yeah. explosion sound. Yeah, let's uh, let's go to Jamie's vision. What do you say? Hello, are you there? Sup? Says yes, I'm here. What happened? Do you know who I am? Yeah. You are me. I am you. What happened to you? How can I help you? My mind has been opened. Has been opened. Yeah. I've transcended to a higher level. This form simply must remain to keep me alive. You can help me by killing Asper Hostel and doing what they could not. Why must he die? Because of what he's done to this world. What did he do? He's he has produced bliss on an industrial scale. Right. And next, his plan is to move on to other worlds. Like mine. One could assume. Potentially. Potentially. The presence of the other Rasper Hawkborn has certainly raised his suspicion. Also, tell Rasper that he's a fool. He's <laughs> not understand the word that I'm trying to tell him. <laughs> Rasper, I huh? see you're a dumbass. <laughs> 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 oh, are you... Are you... I just, uh, how is it... Okay. So you're saying that if I kill Rasper Hawkborn, then the world will be as it it won't affect my world, and I could become awakened? If you... To become to become awakened, the... I became like this when the moon goddess died. The moon goddess died? Yeah. That explains the whole Her the moon crater. Her vessel was broken. The, the big slab? Or... Yes, and we failed to protect it, so I simply absorbed its power, but enough about that. We're here now, and now I can see all of the the roots and all the passages in this world, and if you don't stop Rasper Hawkborn, then he will move on to other worlds, like a virus. And that includes our world? Potentially. Mm. And th- like I said, Rasper's, the other Rasper's presence has certainly drawn his eye in that direction. Yes. Well, that will certainly be able to light some fire under Christine's ass. <laughs> Which one? Uh, my Christine, not your Christine. <laughs> we'll call her. We'll call her two Don't eyes. Don't hey, yeah, I'm, two I'm, eyes. Two I'm, eyes and one. I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> two eyes and one eye. 
Got it. Got it. Yes. Well, just wait. You just wait, Brian. Give <laughs> 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 you time. We'll have to think of a name for you. <laughs> you have two eyes. <laughs> I will do my best. We are going to Easterton next to save your Christine. Yeah. Christine. She's not important. To to our Rasper it is. So that's but but I will try and focus my efforts on killing. Good. The life of one eyes is not as important. What is important is that we kill Rasper Hawthorne. I will do so. His Rasper Hawthorne, right? Not <laughs> I'm not in Jamie's brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe Jamie can clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> it's been an honor. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, might as well have been jerking each other. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty it's pretty much that's the expression that Jamie has when he comes yeah. out of this like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me trying to introduce your new friends to your old friends, and your old friends have a bunch of like inside jokes, and your old your new friends don't understand. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> is he? <laughs> Whoo! This guy's hilarious. Oh, he's yeah. back. I'm back. I'm fine. I am I am I icy? I was I glowing? Was I glowing? No, no, you weren't glowing. You just you were, you were drooling a little bit. Mm. Oh, well, did he say anything? <laughs> Woo! Did he say anything? Uh, he said that uh, your that Rasper Hawkborn needs to die. Uh, Which one? Huh? <laughs> hmm? Okay. Did you, was did he, he specific? He <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, well, he, it was implied. It was implied that I mean, you haven't been uh, well, cre doing, creating bliss on industrial scale and sh shipping it extraplanarly to devils. No, right? he said that before. Okay. That okay. was what we originally set out to do okay. a year ago. So I, the other one. I am to infer that is the other. The one. other one. Um, and so he, he has apparently. Um, uh, Luna, I'm sorry, Luna is dead. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, cost blocks <laughs> and then. Begins to can only do what you think is some sort of crying, <laughs> and it just it sounds like a, a crow, like <laughs> going off over and over. But it's like a it's like a pack of crows, just like. <laughs> it's only this world, Ka. It's only this world. She's still, I I mean I can only she's she's still around in our world. It's it's not like you can tell Vel's like trying to convince himself yeah. a little bit too. Right. But, uh, but uh, cause cause. Yeah. Listen. He stops trying to listen. Yeah. To this. Right, so he has become enlightened because he absorbed all the energy from the moon vessel, the large slab that we dealt with mm -hmm. in season one. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> that's. Is he alive still? Because oh. that should have killed him, probably. Very much so. Oh. Very much so. His his consciousness has transcended that of human human or. Any other racial comprehension? Yeah, I suppose that would do that. That wasn't really his to take. Well, um, I don't. I don't believe he asked for it. I haven't read the Twitter, so I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but I, but he he only he has uh, frozen himself in, a, in an effort to protect his his you know moral body. He does okay. not. He does not need. He does not need to. To be awake anymore because he, his mind is is on a different plane. All he right, is on a different level. So what did ascend it, Jamie? He said Rasper has to die. I don't yes, because if he continues to do this operation that he does, his focus is now moving toward other planes, other dimensions, other timelines. Oh. So he would be producing bliss in other dimensions, or do you He'd mean he, he would be directing? the devil army if there's even one on this uh -huh. timeline or dimension or plane or wherever we it's are that it will come do I, do I know to ours to know yeah. that there's only yeah. one I, it's 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 the same christine they're, they're supplying the same devils that have been 
they've been the devils have been supplying themselves from multiple planes. It's uh, there's 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 not a separate devil army. It looks like they just kind of them or their agents have already. This is a bliss fa This plane is a bliss factory for them now. So, uh -huh. so because of the presence of our Rasper in this time, and right. the runnings that this Rasper has had with our Rasper, he may or may not focus his energies on sending the devils to our plane. I mean, the, our plane. the devils already like our plane, but the bottom line is we, c we can put a hole in their bliss production uh, if, we, if we stop it on this plane. This is actually, it's good that we stayed. Mm -hmm. Killing um, Rasper won't be easy. We tried. I mean... We tried with <laughs> the kinda other Val. Val kind of looks at you. The other Christine. Val kind of looks at you. And Garay. 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 Is he, is he, what? Garay. Well, he's the... He's the... The Shades guy. And I was yeah. the only one that made it out alive. Uh, the Black Arrow Syndicate's more powerful here than it ever was. Oh. Well, and they're all... They've already gone at least slightly transplanar, that's concerning. They all um, have bliss. All of them. Oh, that's also concerning. Well. Stacks and stacks of it. Well, then I guess we have to, we have to kill him. We, 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 we will stop him. We will stop. I think that that's... Rasper, are you okay with us murdering you? I, I mean, not like you, you, but other, like, that, that seems like, I, I'd take issue. Uh, help me out here, man. <laughs> he he <laughs> shrugs. I, no, nothing? Sure. I, I, <laughs> hate the guy. I, <laughs> I, I, but, uh, okay, Rasper. Well, they're different okay. people, aren't they? They aren't us. I have no memory of being here, so it, I know it's not me. From what I've learned, he's not so different. In fact, it was something that must have changed this world. Very, things are the same, but not. Uh, if things right. had gone a different way in my childhood, maybe, Indeed. maybe I would have been doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. But they didn't, so let's kill the guy. <laughs> but like I said, it's not gonna be easy. Rasper might have a point, actually. I, yeah, waste, wasting time on the, on the philosophy of this is, is right. This is a different place. These aren't us. That Rasper needs to go away um, for the safety of our plane, apparently, now, too. Yeah. So let's not waste any more time. Right. 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 Um, would the quickest way, I guess, just be through the... Darrow woods? Um, no, uh, um, no, Darrow's to the south. Yeah, Darrow's to the south. So the, the white, white wood? White wood, that's right. Uh, the white wood and the, the arrow wood, mm -hmm. yeah. You could cut, you could try to cut through it, um, which mm -hmm, um, you guys don't have any druids or anything, so it's probably not a good idea. So the best <sighs> way is to stick to the road, just like you've done a million times before. Go up through Haddock, take a, yep. uh, take a left. Head, head west. Straight on until morning. Yeah. 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 Straight on until Easterton. Okay. Great. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take the normal route and uh, let's let's get on our way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but as we're leaving, Jamie's going to turn back to Jamie, to frozen Jamie, Jamie uh -huh. Sickle. Um, <laughs> Jamie Sickle. By, by Jamie Sickle. Um, what what face does he have? Uh, the original Jamie face. The original face, season one Jamie. See, 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 he looked just like season one Jamie. Um, with or without glamour? <laughs> oh, oh, I guess, I guess, technically without glamour. Oh, so he's oh. All, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jamie's gonna take his hand. And he's gonna put it on on the the face mm -hmm. of the, and just kind of just be in that moment for a second and then leave. Okay. Jamie, stop touching yourself. Let's go. Oh, you're way for that one. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're at that one. <laughs> and tenderness of moment gone. <laughs> Jamie, stop touching yourself. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin one of your moments now. You, know, you wait for it. Okay, so on on our way, what can Rasper tell 
uh, these guys about what he's learned over the past year. Um, what does he know about the other Rasper Hawkborn? Um, as you you guys are as you guys are leaving, um, the uh, you can see the the bar patrons. Um, every, everyone, give me just a perception check. See if you your Whoa. memories can Natural. if I can jog oh, your memory. Uh, Natural twenty. Seventeen. Sixteen. Five. Oh, well, Jamie with a natural 20. Uh, Jamie, you recognize, because uh, it's been years, but you recognize the man at the bar. It's Willet. <laughs> yes. You know who Willet is. I def, yes. Willet, uh, Willet, um, Krom uh, no, Willet Haddickson. Right, he died. Yeah, he was the guy who got killed by the ogres. Right up. Franklin's half brother. Right. Yeah. So we're at the yeah. You're you're just you're just leaving the bar, and you just recognize him as you come down the stairs from the from the right. top of the weeping trout. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing. All right. <laughs> Great. Um, so let's let's head on to uh, let's head on to East. Second East. moment crushed. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> no, nothing. You just you just recognize him. He's alive here. Um, all right, so to Easterton. So you want to, um, Rasper, give me an intelligence check. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? OK. Oh, we're going to get lost. 14. OK, <laughs> negative 14. Um, so you, um, if you'd like, if you want to use that as, uh, as your check, I can, you can um, sketch out a quick map of the, uh, of the castle, if oh. you remember. Sure. Um, unless anyone wants to make a similar huh? check um, for what they remember of the castle and their okay. world, at least. As I'm watching Rasper do that, I'm going to, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm going to probably incorrectly be like, no, wasn't that room over there? I, um, I think I remember, because I rolled a nine, which is lower than Rasper's roll. Okay. Can I, um, okay, because I spent like a week in the castle, can I have advantage? Um, no, I think just because you spent a week in the castle, that's how you can remember it enough to make a map of it. Oh, so I get like the full map? Well, yeah. that that's roll. what, <laughs> roll it. Well, um, what are we doing? Um, is it intelligence? Yes. Yeah. Um, 19. Ooh. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the dungeons nope. were on nope. top of the towers. They were um, they were oh, here's what you guys remember. Well, with that's your it. With my 19. Yeah, with your 19. Well, I, th Aww. I can just be how big the tap. Is. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, you need one sure more to, <laughs> to, the, to bump up to the uh, the 20. Now. Oh. <laughs> There's also a 25. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That those You're towers prepared. were on the other side. I sure was. Wow. My favorite one. I'm gonna give this to you guys because it does not help. This is the <laughs> less than ten. There's <laughs> <laughs> like nothing on it. I think it, it was, was a building. <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, yeah, there was a receiving room uh, and so that's, doors, maybe. So that's the map Bell's trying to build right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Because I wrote you mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, and clearly. Rasper, yeah. this is the, uh, what you got? You got 14. Oh, you okay. got 14. So you get the same. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's compare. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bell, there was a circle. <laughs> well, there you go. No. <laughs> um, um, give me a wisdom check as well, Rasper. Oh, wisdom. Uh, okay. twelve. Um, lovely. Okay. Um, with a twelve, you know, um, uh, you know that um, there's pretty much three. Uh, there's pretty much four shifts of guards in the castle. There's a morning, a day, um, an evening, and a night. Um. And that the guards kind of shift positions around within that. Um, other, other than that, um, you know, uh, th you've been maybe watching the castle um, for a little bit, and so you kind of, you kind of know that that's pretty much the schedule that they keep. Okay. Great. Um, I think I might 
take some uh, debuff because of his age. Okay, hmm. we can we can do that. Okay, here when we're done. Um, okay. I don't think it'll. Yeah, let's worry about that. Yeah. Great. Bit. I mean, okay. So, um, so I guess they're approaching the the are castle, we, are right? Are there already? Um, no, no, no. You're just. This is what you've sketched. Unless yeah. you guys want to. We're. Uh, um. Okay. So. Yeah. I. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't quite. All right. I turn into a squirrel and I collect nuts. No, no. I uh, <laughs> I sneak in as a squirrel mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. kill Rasper as a squirrel. You remember what we do with squirrels as a nerd, right? Flog. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you do with squirrels at Marin? We catch them and raise them back into the wild. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, That's not what we're doing after all. <laughs> um, you take them outside, they aren't... You're not going to get very far as a squirrel. But I'll be tiny. A mouse would be better. Oh. Because even rats are killed. I don't like Bread mice. pestilence and disease. What about, what about a hamster? What's a hamster? I don't know what that is, Jamie. It's like a little mouse. Oh, okay. But like. Why wouldn't you call it a mouse? Because it's a different species. So it's not a mouse? Technically, I mean, it's in that same family. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, All right, so Operation Squirrel Assassin <laughs> is uh, is my pitch. Is, does that map include the basement at all? Mm, it includes the kitchen. Okay. So, yeah, that's what Rasper remembers. The kitchen. The kitchen. Oh, of right. course he remembers the kitchen. Um, <laughs> Rasper, uh, uh, honestly, I'm just in it for Christine. Um my fight's not with Rasper. Really? Because he's helping the guy that sent you here in the first place. Yeah, well, I got priorities. Christine first. If she's safe, I'll do whatever. Christine's having a little bit of an issue with like, how he's talking, because it's just like... There's like some Christine jealousy going on here. Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> Christine envy. Maybe a little. Does he notice this? No, she's uh, pretty well. Unless you want to make a check. Huh. Yeah. Give me, give me a check. post uh, charisma versus wisdom checks. Yeah, Rasper will want to use insight. You're doing charisma. Cool. Oh, yeah. Rasper's doing insight. That's the name for it. Insight. Okay. Which is wisdom based. Uh, 19. 20. Uh, yeah, you catch you catch a little bit of, of uh, Christine in me. He's got perceptive in his old age. Great. He says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he, but he files this. Yeah. He knows. All right. Um, Lovely. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Everyone right. give me a perception check. Uh, That's my new rule, is yeah, don't withhold the fun stuff. Yeah. Do the fun stuff up front, and then develop more fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Um, I always forget which one's, oh, uh, perception. Oh, Twelve. Eight. Twelve. Great. Five. Um, mm. as you, uh, F 15, you said 12? 8. Oh, 8. 5? Oh. oh, good. Oh. Bell, yeah. you smell something on the air. No. Oh, what? It's, it's ozone. Oh. What is that? it? Ozone. Everybody. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 in, on the path in front of you. <laughs> I am the procurer. Hi, procurer. Hi, procurer. Oh. <laughs> I am the procurer of this, too. Oh, no. <laughs> I am the procurer. <laughs> the six Are you procurers. Me? <laughs> Hi, procurers. I am the procurer. I, so, wait. You say the. Hi, procurers. <laughs> you, you, like, see them <laughs> scanning. <laughs> Interference level rising. Huh? Planner oh. anomaly must be stopped. Oh no. Oh. You uh, notice that these procurers, they are, um, their heads are painted differently. Uh -huh. um, they sort of have like, like almost like half of it is white. Oh. Like they've been marked, they've been marked somehow. Okay. Um, uh, Do they have six arms? No. Cool. Oh. Remember that time I... the two-armed ones. Okay. 
Remember that time I said the procurer is from the plane of law? Yes. Um, I don't think the plane of law likes us jumping dimensions very much. Oh. oh. <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Oh, okay. oh no. Did not expect this at all. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how the procurer gets you. Bad. Nobody expects the Bad procurer roll. inquisition. Five. I win. Oh, I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many procurers. I got a, I got a ten. Eight Where are ten. we right now? I better just all, do them all. I would ones. say that we are outside. Um, okay, what do you what do you guys got? Outside oh, here you guys are. Hey, hey, maybe I have. Oh yeah. Are there any oh, roads? Yes. Are there any roads oh. I can yes, use? Yes, there are. Uh, I know that there are. I looked through that box. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Grab me some miniatures I, off the back for everyone I, uh, while I describe this. So there are. Um, to get Val. No, I don't remember any of them. Quite excited actually. Because this will just help set the scene a little bit. Because otherwise it's going to get very, very okay. confusing. Don't worry. Grab me mine. Mine's in the center there. That's okay. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, actually, actually One of these is this one. Can put some green All righty. Oh, yeah. So. What are these, Steven? Oh, these are uh, some. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, I wish we could oh, see them. Uh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. We can't. I forgot about that. We don't have a camera for them. Yeah, we don't have a table cam. I forgot about that. Yeah. I thought we did. Well, we can um, imagine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was die hard. So sorry. this is more useful sorry, for folks. us. Sorry, uh, folks. But these are uh, these are these lovely little uh, terra tiles that uh, yeah. I've been waiting to use. So this will just be helpful. Um, so you guys are kind of on a path with basically woods on either side. Um, just rough placement is good. And uh, do, would you hand me six, just find me six procurers to put in front. Um, the procurers have, uh, the procurers um, uh, have, like I said, that white painting on their face. Um, they're sort of just there in a line. Um, and give me some initiative orders, guys. Pamela, what do you got? Uh, 16. OK. Oh, come on, 10. Great. Rasper? Five. Oh, goodness. Ka? 23. Goodness gracious, Kyle. Oh. Jamie? 10. And Val? 18. Lovely. OK. Um, so Ka will be up first, followed by the Procurer Band. Um, then Val. How many of us? Then Christine. Then Did they uh, Jamie. No, we smelled the ozone. Yeah, we smelled yeah. the ozone. So we're not that surprised. That was what the perception check is. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, or I guess Bell is not surprised, but th you know no. the procurers don't like sneak attack you. They come in, yeah, they, they do, s they do they scanning. Announce who they are. <laughs> scan <Yeah>. you. <laughs> scan you. I guess, I guess I'm just curious. Like, I, I have to go first, but do I recognize? I've never seen the procurer, no. so I don't never I recognize seen these as bad things. Uh, you heard what Bell said, as okay. far as I, I don't think we think have a they moment where they like. I yeah, can yeah. Where they sort of yeah, they yeah. look very threatening. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they like us plane jumping. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kong, you're up first. Great, I'm going to uh, run off the road and hide in the Lovely. trees. Okay. Uh, great, give me a hide. Oh, yeah. That is 24. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> They're going to have to do some serious scanning. All right, <laughs> so um, you see one of them sort of peel off and just sort of march towards the woods at you. Um, and he's going to scan for you. He is going to make a scan check real fast. Scanning. Mm -hmm. uh, 12. So he doesn't, know, he doesn't beat your 21 or whatever it was that you just 21. got on your. Yeah. yeah. So he, you can see him going, scanning, scanning, scanning. <laughs> but uh, the rest of them um, are going to charge. Let's move. Uh, the two of them are going to run up and attack Jamie. Oh. Um, Two of them are going to run straight up at Rasper. And um, the last one is going to step to the center of the road. And he's going to like take his um, his arm crossbow cannon out. And he's going to take a shot at Vel. Uh, so let's do two at Jamie first. Oh, goodness. OK. Um, he, both of their fists <laughs> come at you. Uh, 13. Miss. And 10. Miss. Great. Two of them are coming at Rasper. Um, 17? 
Uh, no, excuse me. How do you 18. want me to change my stats? Don't worry about it. Okay. Now. I'll do it uh, right yes, now. they hit at 17. Uh, great. Um, so one of them is going to hit you um, with one arm, and the other one is going to miss. So we'll, we'll do that real fast. Um, so the first procurer kind of like charges you, and this is like very familiar territory. <laughs> and uh, tell me how he, so he makes two, there's four dice <coughs> coming at you, two from each procurer. Three of them are going to miss, one of them is going to hit. So you do the three misses, then I'll do the hit. Okay, great. Um, uh, Raster's already got his shovel out with the ozone. Um, he's just, it's uh, just gonna be simple blocks. Ching, ching, ching. And the last one gets him. The last one, boom, comes to your face. Um, five damage. Okay. Boom. It was a punch, but not much. It, no, no worse than a human would have done. Yeah. Um, and you kind of can hear them click and whir. <laughs> and um, one of them, as he hits you, he says, glory to the executor. <laughs> Um, then I have one that's going to shoot at Vel. Uh, um, ooh, he gets to shoot at you four times. What? <laughs> As he shoots several bolts at you. Um, get shield ready. <laughs> 21 is the only one that's going to come close. Yeah, uh, so... Yeah, as, as he does that, I'm going to pull out a strip of leather shaped like a shield and throw it in front of myself and it kind of holds in the air. Pink, pink, pink. One of them makes it through, though. So maybe I don't, oh. I don't throw it out fast enough or something. If twenty, if it's twenty-one, then yeah, that yeah. beats my shield AC. Um, ooh, seven. Oof. It uh shoots you in the shoulder. Ow. Okay. And that's all the procurers, though. Valerius, you're up. Okay. He gets hit in there. He goes, okay, you're going away. <laughs> yeah. He pulls out a uh, pulls out a uh, like a it looks like like a like a whisk or something, and he, he and it's got like a weird sort of silvery material, and he blows and he blows a bubble, um, and then he reaches out and pops it, <laughs> and uh, and that procurer is going to give me a charisma saving throw. Oh boy! Because <laughs> charisma means procure. Two. <laughs> uh, he's banished. <laughs> Poof. Uh, he pops and he is <laughs> just sort of like it looks like he's blown backwards as he's mm. yanked back to his universe. Yep. Ozone. <laughs> Little pile of hot hotness at the ground. <laughs> Lovely. Um Ed, you wanna move? Um yeah, I'm just gonna kinda back up from the melee a bit there. Great. Survey, what's going on? Christine, you're up. Great. Um, I'm going to. Uh, goodness, um, I'm going to move to the one that's next to Ka. Great. So just just describe while you're going to run into the forest after the one that's by Ka. Oh. Um. Okay. So so and Rasper's in front of me. Yes, Rasper's. Rasper. Don't get too tied up on the board there. Yeah. Because yeah. they can't see it. Right. Um. Yeah, then I'm I'm gonna um, actually run next to Rasper and uh, go for one of the ones that's next to him. Great. Uh, first attack, 19 to hit. Um, 19 is gonna hit. Um, six damage. Um, okay. And um, make a strength, athletics, or dexterity acrobatics check. Oh boy. Um, they're gonna do dex. It doesn't matter, I got a natural one. Oh! They're not pushed back by my shield. I get eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, um, and then second attack, I guess. Um, 20 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Great. How much damage did you deal to that first one? Six. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I rolled a one. Um. Um, ooh, not this time. A 13 damage to the same one. Ooh, okay. Uh, tell me how you maim him. Um, okay. Um, so I try to push him back with my shield and he holds fast. So then I just go ahead and I bring my sword down on his shoulder joint and it just like hits in just the right spot and just the detaches arm, his arm. Hey, you hit just the right spot and the arm just kind of like pops off almost <laughs> as if like it's meant to do that. <laughs> I, you, you hit the arm ejection trigger. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and 
and yeah, hit in his arm falls off. Um, so he'll do one less attack. Is that all of your actions? That's all my actions. Wonderful, Jamie. Jamie's gonna disengage a little bit from these two guys as, as he's like dodging and, and stuff. Okay, and 22 is an action. So you can't cast a spell and disengage. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I thought it was a move. Mm -hmm. Nope. Then he's not gonna do that. You can just move, but you just provoke attack spells. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. Yeah. Um, then he's just gonna, uh, in the midst of doing all this, he's going to, uh, once there's like, after the, all the attacks are done, he's going to go and then all his, his eyes are gonna go green. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. Armor of Agathis. Uh, Armor of Agathis! Uh, I missed yes. you. Shing. Rasper, bringing up the rear. Rasper is pissed. He just swings down really hard on that one that hit him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, those are so low. Uh, 20. <laughs> 20 hit. <laughs> and that was for, uh, what, the 13? 13 misses. Ooh, 213. 13, uh, you, your first shovel blow hits him in the head. We'll deal damage on yeah. it, and then I'll do the second. I'll do the one. Um, that's 10 damage. Oh, God. Tell me how you maim him. Um, I slam him hard down in the head, and his head just kind of shortens, <laughs> so he has no more neck. <laughs> just right on the... <laughs> uh, your, second, your second one, after you shorten his head, uh, you, like come at him for like to do it again and maybe try to bash his head totally into his body and it like steps back out of the way so your shovel boom, misses and hits the air. Great. We're back up to the top with Ka, Kuru Ka. Um, okay. Could I run out of the woods? Yeah, you're hidden so you, uh, yeah, like run back towards the road? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. I'm gonna run back towards the road towards uh, one of the procures that's engaged with uh, with Rasper? Rasper. Lovely. And, uh, uh, so you, the, there's two, one that Christine has knocked the arm off of, and one that Rasper has shortened the neck. Right, I'm going for the one with the arm off. Great. Uh, and I'm going to, like, as I'm running by, I'm going to, like, take a, a sword Lovely. with my sword. Oh, no, give me that. Ooh. Oh. All right, so 24? 24 hits. Oh, uh, yeah. Eight. Sneak attack. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. 18, 24. Tell me how it goes down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cobb bolts out of the woods uh, and, and sees the arm get lopped off. <laughs> and then right as the arm has like come off, he, he comes to the side and like halves it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Short sword. Oh. The broke here. <laughs> disappears and then <laughs> disappears as it is teleported back to its own world. Okay. When you kill him. Um, I guess I'm not engaged with the other one, right? Um, what do you mean engaged with it? I was going to take my bonus and disengage if I'm engaged. Oh, um, you go ahead and take it just to be safe. Yeah, and I just Otherwise it goes away. From the fray, yeah. Back in the well, back in the Yeah. Yeah, the opposite woods. Okay. Um, the remaining procurors, um, the first one is going to, um, I'll give him another perception to see if you, 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 you ran out of the woods. Yeah. So that procurer he's is going to notice sure. that, uh, yeah. yeah. So he's going to run over towards Christine going like, uh, interference level rising, interference probability rising. And um, he's going to take his two arms <laughs> at Christine, a couple of uppercuts. Um, here we go. Um, 19? Nope. 19 and lower. Tell me how they miss. Okay. As he goes, I just kind of like, one, like, like shift my weight from side to side, like clearly seeing. He's very clearly like, um, I don't know what is it called, projecting your move? Uh, oh, he's telegraphing. Telegraphing, that's it. So he's telegraphing his move so I can just see it and just dodge it easily. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, then um, the other procurers who are engaged with Jamie, they are going to both try to hit him. I got four attacks coming at you, Jamie. Ooh, okay. Here's two uh, two possibilities. Um, 20? Yes. And 17? Yes. Okay. So they will deal you. Um, so the first, uh, they both come from different ones. Right. So the first one sort of misses. You dodge them, but then they... <laughs> Come like two and, and like one on each side of your head. Oh. Concerto on my head. Uh huh. Oh, man. And it's gonna deal you um, 
The first one is going to deal you two damage. Okay. The second one is going to deal you five damage. Okay. Uh, as this happens, you're, it's like, and then like a big green energy as they both take ten damage. Oh. Tell me how you made them. Their arms <laughs> blow clean off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's using your head. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, there's just two more. Pro no, there's just one more procure that's there in front of Rasper, um, mm -hmm. and it's gonna take his two swings at you, Rasper. Um, Fourteen. Nope. All right. Uh, they uh, tell me how they missed. Uh, he doesn't. He hits Rasper in the chest, uh -huh. and Rasper is unfazed. <laughs> it just, you know, it it, it pushes him back a bit. Mm. <laughs> Val, you're up. All right. And, uh, Val still has his whisk out, and he goes, yeah, yeah, interfere with this. And he makes another bubble and pops it. Uh, the one on Christine is going to make a, a charisma check. Eight. He is also <laughs> managed. <laughs> see, that was Popping the, noise. Is that head smashed one? Uh, no. I think that was the one that chased Ka into the forest. Yeah. Oh, got it, got so it, got it. Was it. Like oh, yeah. Unheard, I think. Yeah, oh, that was a good one. That was yeah. a good one to banish. Yep. <laughs> you, you whisk another one out of it as it's <laughs> yanked back to his universe. Christine. Um, okay, I'm going to go for the one that's in front of Rasper since he's the only one left. Lovely. Uh, there's, there's, there's three. three right. but he said that there was only one. No, no. Like he meant left there's to go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay. Yeah. I thought the, the same one. thing at first. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Okay. Go on for the one in front of Rasper. Um, 17. Go 17 ahead. hits. Great. Um, nine damage. Okay. Small damage. Uh, second attack. Um, 22. 22 hits. That's another seven. Tell me how he goes down. <laughs> oh, this is sad. <laughs> I'm feeling so bad. Um, Poor procurers. Okay. Um, I I always picture like they have like a gyroscope as their like heart in their center. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll can in there. Sure. So, um, which is like you can't really see it, but I yeah. Christine somehow finds a way and she like jabs sure. it and like it pierces the the like glass. Yeah gem whatever thing in there and it shatters um, and he oh. gives Voigt. <laughs> you don't even have to bring your sword out. It's just gone. Yeah. Ooh. All right, Jamie. Uh, Jamie is going to make his sword again. <laughs> and then he's going to, uh, he's got, he's got two stabs, one for the each of you. Great. 22. Hit. Not 20. Oh, Critical oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the first yeah. one gets three damage. Okay. The second one gets 13 damage. Tell me how he goes down. Uh, so it's going to be like one, like a ha ha. The second one's just going to get a little bit more meat of the guy, and he's just cleaved like in half, like <laughs> shoulder, to, shoulder to stomach. <laughs> 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 and Rasper takes us home. Rasper, <laughs> he takes two steps to the right and swings his baseball bat for a 20 and hit, a... Hit. <laughs> 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 and probably not a, a, uh, a 12. 12 damage? Tw no, just oh, uh, 12. No, 12 Wait, misses. Right, great. For the 20. And oh boy, sixteen damage. Tell me how he goes down. His head knocks clean off, <laughs> <laughs> and you see it, whi it goes. whistling like a nerf. Bye, nerf bye, bye, it robot. never hits the ground. And it just goes into the forest. As he's, it never hits the ground because he's <laughs> taken back. I just want to point out what a perfect combat that was because everyone got exactly two rounds. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's clean. Huh. Um. Maybe we should have told them that. why we were here. I, they, didn't seem, been, they, they didn't seem to care. It's been my experience that procurers do not reason well. I think it's better if we just conclude our business on this plane and get home oh, give sooner me a quick rather than check. later. Oh. 
Oh. Probably shouldn't be. Uh, 14. Um, anyone else want to give me Arcana? Yes! I... <laughs> no. <laughs> I give Arcana. Oh. I got a natural 20! Oh. I got a 21. Oh, okay. I'm Jamie, because it makes sense for you to. <laughs> yeah, I was well, going to say. this is an obscure piece of yeah. knowledge. Jamie, you um, you recognize, as when they said the word executor, you remember that this is like the name of some like renegade procurer. Oh. oh. That you, that you mm. read one time. Yeah. So the executor is that they mentioned was. Executor. Executor? Executor. <laughs> I heard executor. Executor. <laughs> so this executor Roar. is like some sort of. <laughs> let him, like he knows. He knows what he's Come doing. On. <laughs> um, he's apparently a, there's a renegade, renegade procurer, and th this is this is their band, mm. so they might not be as good as we are led to believe. Mm. Anyway, let's keep I, going. Yeah, we'll end it on that yeah. cliffhanger. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll start next time in the uh, city of Easterton. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, please sh be sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Um, this worked uh, rather well. Everyone just in the comments, just because I want people to link to this video to like be super weirded out, just everyone type I am the procuror in all caps <laughs> in your comment. <laughs> so yes. we just have like a uh, hundred I am the procurors. <laughs> yeah, or scannings, or just like right. as if the entire video has just been watched by a thousand by procurers. Um, <laughs> also uh, leave actual comments too. Not yeah, if you, want, if you want, but if you procure, want, but the procurer, but but the procurers. Um, be sure to check out our uh, our wiki and uh, please visit our Patreon. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. What a lovely episode. We'll see you next time uh, for Threshold, Return of Rasper Hawkborn, and we will see you tomorrow for questions, comments, concerns, and then I'll see you on Wednesday for afterwards. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.